all right so i learned a lot <laughs> this is not going to be the final this was again this was just a test so this experiment got a little out of hand uh this always happens to me whenever i try to draw a face that is that belongs to an actual person i get carried away trying to make it realistic so instead of going with my more um stylized portrait it became a bit more realistic so this was the first go i'm gonna try it again but i might use this to experiment with coloring on photoshop uh, but i will definitely try again it's gonna be a bust shot with um, his hook hand and a little bit of his uh, exposed chest there so and at the, <laughs> i messed up the mouth because bees are supposed to be coming out of his mouth but i didn't really plan it so what i'm going to do instead is i'm just going to have the bees flying around instead because bees are so difficult to draw especially if they're going to be small so definitely need more planning there but um yeah i just got to work on how this looks because it looks it doesn't look good it needs to be more my style It's very hot today so um i think i can now try i know i said i would try the previous sketch to color on photoshop but i'm going to try with this one see how it goes um in terms of the b i'm actually going to draw it here just like one big b because doing a, a bunch of smaller b's around this drawing is going to be a little bit too i don't think it'll look good just because a lot of detail is already in the portrait of Tony Todd himself. Tony, Tony Todd, Tony Todd. So I'm going to add a B right here. And I'm debating whether or not to draw it in a separate sheet just in case I mess up. So I might, you know what, I might do that. Like I'll draw it right here. Make note of the size of the space that I have. And then I can just edit it into on Photoshop. I'm downstairs in the kitchen making tea and I was just looking at my plants uh, so it's about like 9 30 in the morning but some of them have these dew drops at the top of the on their leaves there you go it's sort of focused but a bunch of them have this it's like morning dew in an indoor plant and I've noticed this a couple times I guess that's a thing that happens 
It's cute. <laughs> I just didn't think it would happen to indoor plants. Anyway, it is Thursday, the day after Canada Day, and I'm making some tea for my partner and I here. I think this is just about state, so let me just finish that up. I'm wearing this summer dress that I got from Old Navy through a gift card maybe two years ago. Um, and I only really wear it during summer because it's a summer dress. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing socks. <laughs> I'm gonna package these today. I really wanted to do them a couple days before, but I got really busy. Oh, I don't know if I like that bow there. I just, it was downstairs, so I had to bring it upstairs. Uh, yeah, so I've had a busy couple of days over the weekend. My boyfriend and I went to see a friend um, and we hung out with her. And then uh, Monday I went to work and Tuesday I went to work. And then Wednesday, which was yesterday, uh, my family uh, invited us over for a little barbecue. So my brothers, my, my mom and dad and my boyfriend and my brother's girl girlfriend were together and i think it was okay it was obviously a little bit scary because of the uh covid19 uh, stuff going on so i hope i think i think we were okay and we weren't breaking any rules i haven't seen them in like so long my obviously my parents have dropped by they've just dropped by to like give us snacks and stuff and some food but we haven't been to their house in a long time and my Parents have been doing a lot of sprucing up over quarantine, I guess. They've uh, bought more indoor plants and they've just painted their house. Like they, they've just upgraded a lot. So it was really nice and it was really nice to see them. And it was nice we had um, like a couple chicken skewers. We had a lot of food. So I'm gonna try and take it easy today because my stomach is a little bit bleh from all the stuff I've been eating the last few days. And today is really the only day I can vlog and have something up for Friday. I have, I, I don't know if I've put it in already at this point in the vlog, but I worked on a commission for a, um, a lovely client and I didn't add it in the previous vlog because it was a surprise. So um, yeah, I worked on, I'm going to put that into the vlog, but I worked on that last week. So yeah, hopefully I can stretch this vlog out a little bit longer for you guys so you can have something to watch. But I'm not going to go film packaging this stuff much because I've done that so many times before and it's probably boring. Um, I did work on two. I, I still need to catch up on my Patreon doodles as well. So I did the one that I needed to catch up on which was Dehydrate and this is how it turned out. You've probably seen these already at this point. I've probably posted them. Dehydrate, it seems so much more desaturated on camera. Usually the camera's pretty good with colors. And then this one wasn't a winner, but I really wanted to try. I had this image in my head of an icy pass and I wanted to try and and put that into a visual form, I guess, from my head. I guess a drawing is what I meant to say. And this is how it turned out. And I really like how that looks. So um, it's one of the choices for the polls, icy pass, but it's not really winning. So, but I really wanted to try it. So I'm going to make a bigger doodle. Uh, for my catch up, if you follow me on Patreon, you know that the doodle for day 11 and 12 is a big one because I'm catching up on the previous days that I've missed. So it's also not good because it's getting hot in this room. <laughs> um, well, so I, my, I'm going to have both of my fans on while packaging all this stuff. I'll probably put on a movie on Shudder that came out. It's called The Nightingale and it looks interesting. So I'm going to put that on while I package and then I'll check out check with you guys like throughout throughout the vlog and um yeah see what i can come up with talking wise wow. all right it's now about one o'clock in the afternoon i've packaged up all the light parcels and the sticker club has been done for a while i'm moving on to finish up the ultimate parcel so i can have them all mailed by tomorrow but i'm going to make myself a lunch I'm making more tea, but my mom, this fridge is a mess, 
My mom gave me some good looking mango, so I'm gonna cut this up and eat it. This knife is not very sharp. I should have pulled out a cutting board. Yes, I messily ate around the seed off camera. You cannot waste a good mango. Punch! It's so bright in here. <laughs> so, it's a, this is actually, it's nice and bright, but this is the time where I don't like being in this room just because it's too bright for me. Um, I think one time my parents called me a witch <laughs> and I, was, I wasn't offended or anything because I just really like the dark. Um, so yeah, anyway, it's 4.16. I finished packing everything up. So they're all there. The only thing I have to do for everybody is add the doodles on them and that takes me about, depending on how complicated the doodle I come up with it takes me about 20 minutes so I'll do that I'm gonna I'm, I'm taking a break from the packages though and I'm going to start thinking about my patreon doodles let me show you the poll so for 11 and 12 it looks like folktale and twins win so I'm gonna do doodles of both of those either separate or together depending on what I think of but yeah, if you want to join the polls and vote and also leave suggestions, uh, it's just for the dollar and above tier. But I didn't, I never mentioned it on vlog yet, but uh, Patreon is making a ch another change where they're adding taxes onto the tiers. And I have no idea exactly how it works. They have a whole guide where you click and read, but it, it looks like different um, rewards have different taxes attached to it. And then all the taxes are different based on where you live like what country you live so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very uh, what's that word I'm looking for not demotivating um, it's like a disincentive for certain patrons because it will probably increase the price for certain pledges I'm not sure exactly how my pledges have been affected but I I'm totally I totally understand if people decide to unpledge for me because of it because it's really annoying and if patreon keeps doing stuff like this i might think about moving platforms or just totally leaving patreon and i have been thinking about that before but i just i like having this platform to share stuff but also be monetarily supported and like nowadays i feel like monetary support as an artist for me is since quarantine it has become something that's kind of just like um disheartening and I'm starting to be like, maybe I just have to work full time now and have art on the side as a hobby. It, this is a whole kind of worms here. But yeah, so Patreon is making a change where they're adding taxes. But yeah, I'm going to take a break from the packages and I'm going to start doodling stuff. Uh, like painting stuff. And I haven't painted or made or drawn anything big in a while. So maybe I might combine these two ideas into one and uh, make a big painting. I don't know. Uh... Oh, uh, let me tell you how the nightingale was. Again, sorry if it's really loud with the fans here. So, the nightingale on Shudder. Uh, apparently, the director who did Babadook also directed this movie. Uh, but it was a very good movie. A big, 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 big warning. It's very heavy. It's not for the faint of heart because there are themes there that involve the R word. A lot of that. And I, um, I'm a big proponent of, like the r word is not really required in a lot of movies i don't think you need to show it but some movies i guess you need to show it because it's it's kind of there's a, a lot of revenge in it but anyway there's that but there's also a lot of racism in it in terms of just the, the theme of it it's very heavy it's a really good movie very well acted not for the faint of heart and i think one of the actors is in pride and prejudice or yeah, he's in Pride and Prejudice and I was just like, uh, yeah, so if you are looking for something that is very heavy, you're in the mood for that and you 
uh, it's violent as well, then I would recommend seeing that movie. It's a good one, but again, very heavy in, in terms of themes. Uh, also very interesting in terms of the history. So yeah, um, yeah. So that's the Nighting Nightingale on Shutter. I'm actually open. I actually have Shutter open to another movie. Uh, but I'm waiting for the light in here to get a little bit dimmer because I don't want to adjust my monitor brightness. I have my, my monitors, I just have it in the right spot. So I'm waiting for the sun to leave and then I can continue watching it. It's called Dig Two Graves and the reviews are pretty good. So uh, yeah, that's my update. I need to start editing the vlog, but I would also like to film a little bit more before I start inputting everything into my computer. It's so bright in here.